sound check, so sounds a bit slightly high. Okay, so we have a situation that uh, large craft incoming, and there's uh, uh, what one craft just crashed. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't have a sound set at this this point. Engaging, so we need to send another. Mm, 14 hours repairs. Oh no. Not not a good thing. And this this craft is damaged, and the second craft is also damaged. Uh, not going well. Uh, Valkyrie does have a weapons, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, let's let's do the ground Seal mission first. To control the operation site, Force Commander, the mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. To abort the mission, return all units to the transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. Heavily damaged. Devil D, Teal, and Furry to all survivors. Okay, and then we need to set up the soldiers. This is amazing. Well, that's a bummer. Light melt gun would be like really, really nice gun for us. There, there could be like basically anything on the on the on the field here. Oh no! Why it had to be orcs? This is one of those planets where everyone is attacking at the same time. Exploded. Wrong ammunition. Oh no. If if orcs hit, the, there's not not much much left from the from the weapon. Covering ground. Heading 
out. Ready to serve. Take your armor. Yes, sir. Okay, this elevator. Now, now they can't use the... Out. Can't use the elevator when somebody is stand, standing on it. Trooper. And he's seeing three... Three orcs. Let's see, one... Ah, uh, immediately next to him. Okay, that worked. Okay, that, that was a crot. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Oh no. Can you get out of the way? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, too far. So this is basically a close combat weapon. Good time to start sucking on the on the. Basically, I can send these two up, but I think we are going to need them down here. Following orders. Take your ammo. This is very bad idea. like friendly better take aim shots because there's there's going to be like friendlies all over the place okay so 21 points you could get an auto fire but there's like Okay, that's that's that. Um, let's send them up. Doesn't really pay pay you to keep them idle. The Emperor protects. Ouch! So how ma many did we lose? Damn! <laughs> Damn! 
scam. <laughs> And maybe that goblin doesn't know much, but we are still taking it, it as a prisoner. Okay, who had a stun rod? Okay, this, this person has a stun rod. Okay, that, that was all. So, eight, uh, eight, eight orcs and, and goblins. One taken alive, nice. All the artifacts seized, lots of units lost five. We lost five guys. Oh no! And they mo mostly they were veterans. So, ah, yeah. Well, that's that's pretty good. Uh, and lots of extra extra stuff. Yeah, that 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 kind of mission. Oh well. And now we have a like two damage fighters yeah, doing repairs. Five hours, eighteen hours. And not really able to give chase unless we send them um, Valkyrie to seven days. Then they have a base ready to ho house the extra extra fighter. Uh, so we could actually send this set the set this craft to patrol. The planet so Okay, that's it. This might be a pretty bad idea, but let's let's see what happens. It, it's already damaged. Low altitude, okay. Very small. Very small on ground level. Only flying craft hovering in patrol mode can detect enemy bases. Ah, interesting. So there's lots of small crafts. So this could mean that they have a base somewhere around here. If there's like lots of craft. Enemy crashlands, nice. We don't have a full complement of soldiers, but Zealand we could, Europe we can try. Control the operation site. Force commander, the mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or neutralized. To abort the mission, return all units to the transport vehicle and click on the abort mission icon. Very small enemies flying around. Driving around trucks and such, there's a base nearby. Yeah, I I, I recall that much from the from the original game. Okay, we, we took a shit ton of casualties from the last mission. That's good there were great when creating alternative entrances. Yeah, I wouldn't want to use melta charges because <laughs> I don't have them. Okay, so okay, this looks interesting. So it's like Imperial Town where the craft crashed. This is so cool. Useful for space hulks, for example, melta can work similar. Yeah, I I had this one. Space, Space Hulk mission last time and it was like you for first you go down into third basement level then you go up 
they're different. <laughs> Loc locations, uh, first and second level. That was like crazy. So, last cutter would have been like pretty helpful. Oh no. So, yeah, this is pretty cool, but I don't see any enemies, which could be. Although, if they crashed, they could have been. could be dead. Which is indeed a uh, very happy, happy thing. But we can blind fire always. So, okay. <laughs> and we are already seeing lots of lots of enemies. When in doubt. Uh, okay, I'm not going to throw it that yet. Let's prime it first. Grenade is activated. Throw. Then you yell contact and shoot something. Okay, you are shooting the building. Apparently the building is... heretic. Or something. Okay, no, no missiles this, this, this time. Okay, there's um, call this. I put this ship together to be a matchup between Nostromo from Alien and the uh, Pyramid Buildings from Blade Runner. I was going to ask you if you are like the guy who made this modification or, or the team member. But I, I totally, totally love the, love the whole, whole, whole thing. Ah. Let me take scope. Ah, uh, there's two stairs. Okay, two stairs are, are okay. Ish. Yeah, team member. Rose expanded sister portion first, and then we combined by the Igma Imperial Guard expanded publisher, and some orcs, like some, and it snowballed from there. Yeah, like they used to usually, usually do snowball. I've been playing with the uh, with the SWAT 4 modification, and that's a really great game modified. But anyway, the point is that. Uh, uh, SWAT 4 scene is like somebody makes a mod and some other team makes a mod that's based on that mod and the second, third team is going to made, make a mod that's based, based on the previous two mods. So it's really great when, when the people are creating stuff for the, for the uh, games. Oh, he bleed, ble bleed, bled out. Don't, doesn't contribute. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. Spot 4, yeah, it's great. Th there's a mod scene for that, and there's actually real uh, police officers that play Spot 4, because it's it's still like the best. Okay, so... Uh if you want to watch, there's in my YouTube page. There's a uh, there's a um, gameplay, but it's it's in Finnish because I'm playing with the, with the friends, which is closer to XCOM. My first SWAT was was SWAT 2. Yeah, it's it's strategy game, and and with the SWAT 3, the Sierra went to the first person shooter mode. And some some people still like SWAT SWAT 3 because SWAT 3 had like uh, all sorts of interesting uh, features that are now missing, uh, like for example the fact that you can actually the suspects can uh, hide in a closets. 
Okay, that, that was two good hits. This is Lucy's pattern on last gun. I wonder what blew up. I think I played the first Rainbow Six instead of SWAT 3. I, yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, first Rainbow Six part was pretty powerful. Uh, yeah, powerful example of the of the games, and it was pretty pro po uh, popular in Finland. Yeah, and I I knew the guy who made the NATO not mod for the Rainbow Six. Have you tried the new sweat like game? With which of them? <laughs> there's, there's, there's actually like several of them. Uh, ready or not, I haven't played it with friends. It's like the AI is pretty much robotic. They are not acting like a real people. That's actually, they act a bit like real people in, in the older version, which is interesting. And um, then there's this U Ukrainian what stories uh, which we tested it's still very rough on the edges there's a free demo okay that, that was good one percent chance yeah well I'm, I'm leaving you to cover us AI is pretty important in a co-op game like SWAT yeah and, and the problem is uh, which is the biggest gripe with the police officer officers about the SWAT is that People are scared. They are not robots. And and when when there's like this AI that can uh, that uh, is still fighting back, even if you taste it and uh, whatever. Yeah. Well, th those things happen in real life. But the problem is that it's it's uh, it it feels more robot than human. Yeah, SWAT AI is pretty complex when it comes to AI being tricky for going car gun surrendering thing. Yeah, fa uh, they they are faking the surrendering, and with the current uh, uh, tactical stories, uh, uh, first responders tactical edition. That's the newest newest mod. Uh, The suspects are uh, even more aggressive, basically. Where's the sniper when you need, need them? Um, okay, that's a decent. Decent jazz. Little, little too far. Uh, that, that was lucky shot. Now he's empty. We don't have a point. Can he hit? I suppose he can. Ah, this is something. Something we need. To get a better, better, bigger, better angle on, on the target. Yeah, that's that's all. But it between maps and enemy types. Yeah, they were even one this one mission where the sus suspects had uh, put uh, terrorist clothes on on the one one of the uh, hostages. So he was like in a in a in a clothing and balaclava and <laughs> bullet vest but he didn't have any any gun so uh, that's like uh, when we were playing uh, when we were playing with the uh, with a cousin from Sweden he, he had like been playing uh, 
counter strike. So first suspect, bam, <laughs> dead. <laughs> When you can't actually go and, and turn the view, like in modern games, this is pretty tricky. When you when you want to scale the stairs here, uh, I don't think it had much of the Stockholm syndrome scenario, or did it? Well, it it was like the uh, so hostages can actually. Try to fight fight the uh, spot, which is incredibly stupid. But if you think about people, they might not act logically in, in a high stress situation. RPT said forces have carapace tier armor, so pretty tough. Yeah, that's that's how I remembered. Although I haven't played the uh, RPTs in uh, tabletop or uh, 40k role playing game. We, we used to play the uh, Fantasy Flight games, uh, 40k, 40k games, and I, I li really like the Rogue Trader. I think story wise the problem was the three to four antagonist factions. Yeah, you could have a lump like million in a 40k, but that that's pretty fit. The uh, three to four is pretty pretty much. I mean, I mean, in, in this game, it, it kind of fits to to uh, randomly generated content to have uh, like several factions, and and the fact is that yeah, for the game have, have has these planets where where everyone is attacking at the same time because reasons. Okay, so this is the. How do we go? We are servants of the God Emperor. This ele elevator. Okay, so this is... That's a hole. <laughs> you can be dropped off from the hole. Yep. Original game. Probably has a carapace. So that, that's that's really a bridge up there. Okay, she can she can aim aim for the stairs. Okay. Victory is assured. Thank you. <laughs> you honor me. On my soul it shall be done. Covering ground. Make, making a door for the um, commissar. Just in the nick of, nick of time. I haven't used the used the execution option. I don't know uh, even how, how it uh, works in this game. It, it's a uh, hilarious in in a board game, but uh, in a XCOM where I actually care that these guys get get the experience, it's going to be a pretty pretty based fool. Say again. I, I was one of one of those guys who actually were disappointed to XCOM 2012 game and XCOM 2 as well. Pushing ahead. Both had their highlights and down down downsides, uh, but uh, I think with, with XCOM 2 I actually disliked most. Uh, uh, timing that you had like timer for everything and and the rolling 
that uh, actually dice rolls actually were dependent on on what you you were doing. So if you moved moved around, that uh, generated different kind of seed. Okay, that that was all. So we now we got couple enemies alive so we can start third third degree questioning and we got some prometheum which is always fine and now we know that there's like base somewhere here so need to start need to start planning our assault uh, we are going to get uh, veterans uh, veterans from the from the Imperial Guard or PDF veterans actually. Yeah, RP this support might be a pretty nice thing if they have a carapace armor. You research nice sisters you get their backstory. Yeah, I could might might do that at some point. Radical <laughs> recruitment. Hmm, okay. Yeah, lots of lots of things to Heavy Enforcer. So he, heavy enforcer and great singer those we, we we captured. Have the chaos prisons on the planet. Oh no. Beku. Ah, Ogryn. Nice. <laughs> now we have Ogryn. But we don't have um, his weapons yet. Yes. Still going to take some time. But I suppose if we are going to after go after bases, Ogryn what might be pretty nice. The actual chaos sisters in the mod are mostly possessed that kind. Like in the old comics. Yeah, and like in a Siapas game books. So... A prison, we got uh, troopers and prisoners. Okay, penal battalion. And one airman. Yeah, we are, we are sending him to this base to become a fighter pilot. Not sure if there's any written story in 40k that explores to what happens shrine world that comes out to the influence and fails to chaos. Yeah, and I recall from the new new lore that during the uh, darkness, uh, Noxus Imperium, the, there were a shrine world near Terra that got got uh, taken over by their demon lord, which which was like crazy crazy thing. I probably will run at some point the uh, uh, cardinal world uh, that was taken over the demon. I, I will probably uh, run a RPG campaign at some point about it. But yeah, it's it's going to be like really interesting. But yeah, they they could be like it could be like cardinal world in a name, and they they have it under hive in every place any, anyway. So. Even if the fuel sisters, they would be immune to chaos sense possession. There's plenty of other uh, parts of the church that could be corrupted and be chaosy. Yeah, like a death cults and stuff like that. Uh, so let's make a um, training mission. Damage.
Xeno called. Oh no, they could be like... Tyrannis. <laughs> Xeno corrupted forces are centering on this area. Purging them is crucial. I, I'm, I'm totally, totally awestruck here. This is, this is very, very cool. Good mod, cool. All, all sorts of things you want to see, see from the 40k themed uh, XCOM. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, tra traumatic experiences from the original XCOM. Um, all right, so. Oh, good. They have vehicles. Uh, okay, okay, I forget to give anything to him, but. Careful about judges. Got the options to dig in and sometimes melee your wires units. Check the buttons on the upper, upright corner. Yeah, I noticed that there's like shovel. Although I haven't yet yet find to use for it. But suppose I'm going to, for example, if you take like like fast game and want to like defend, then then I I think digging digging down would be like great to make a make a foxhole for you because even if you are like ha half cover, it's, it's it's much better than standing on the open. Okay, what's that? Oh no! Multiple hits there is this bonus. So they are cultists and they have a cloaked figures with them. Okay, that sounds serious. That looks like serious. What we should be very talking about. If he is droppers, if if he survives, he will join you. Nice. Probably pretty badass. Okay, he's not accurate. I'm I'm concerned about these lad um, stairs here because it's kind of going to mean that there's like se several <laughs> several levels of tunnels here. Oh no. Much like spot. Secure, see, you can stunt them and pick them up, throw them around, much like in spot. Yeah, we, in these days you get minus points if you taste the, taste the civilians in spot, so. And, and I'm, I'm not too keen to actually. Uh, well, you use my movement points to actually stun, stun the civilians, so. Not, not really feeling like it. Yeah, that that was that wasn't good. Okay, there's one guy here.
Okay, but he's... Stormtrooper got a kill. Alpha Legionnaire! Oh, Infilt... I hate this, I hate this, I totally hate this. Yeah, surprise Space Marine. Reporting, sir. Let them have it. Surprise hand to hand combat with the uh, with um, Space Marine. I don't know what what could go wrong. Okay, this is this is bad. Ah. Yeah, machine gunner is never in the pl place you put. Want him to be. We get rid of Apple again, but need to take one alive. Uh, oh yeah, not the first time. I have to ask. I noticed in the last Space Hulk battle that my soldier shot a friend. And then after that, there was Alpha Legion infiltrator in his stead. So is it a actual game game mechanic that if you shoot uh, shoot the enemy? Okay, Sister Medica, that's nice. She ha she has only a. Hand no. Okay, so she is infected. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she had like points left. Corrupted medic. This is not going well. <laughs> Dude, the G Steel Steeler cults are so funny. You got pity Brad melee accuracy. Uh, yeah, holding two handed rifle with your chainsaws. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually taking that into account. That's that's pretty cool actually. Okay, that was civilian. We have them excess civilians in Imperium, so Matter. Okay. That's <laughs> close to friendly fire now. Is that all? Okay, one, one, one guy hadn't moved. Okay, because he, we, we lost left him to the starting area. Not the brightest, not the best battle this. Light bolter that require less strength, yeah. I'm, I'm researching the light bolter guns, because... Need to have some move. Okay, just kidding everyone here. Oh. Okay, that works. Thank you, Inquisition soldier. Okay, that's... okay. This is this is going terribly wrong. Okay, this. Oh, Ocarina are very good with machine stealers. Yeah, I, I. 
Okay, he's down. <laughs> okay, he's down as well. Yeah, I'll follow each other. Krennic, Krennic, Krennic. Okay, I suppose I should have put the... Uh, yeah, timing, timer to zero. Then that, then that tactic would have actually worked. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Inquisitor Stormtrooper gives no frags. Ouch. Okay. Okrun is standing, but he's infected, I think. Okay, something is happening. Okay, that was TPK. One Kriegsman killing all enemies. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. Normal combat shotguns are pretty good for the rogue crew guardsmen to use. Yeah, because, yeah, big spread and, and close range. 